Kabang, the provincial dog who risked her life and lost half her face to protect two children from a rushing motorbike, is home after a seven-month treatment in the U.S. She has not only nourished our souls, she has also rescued dog vocabulary from the gutter. Take canine devotion. We use this phrase to describe some politicians and questioning subservience to, let's say, a party boss. But what Kabang showed us was fidelity to her human friends. We also use the word lapdog in a negative way, a variation of canine devotion. We say, for example, a lapdog of the president. While Kabang is no longer small enough to be cuddled in our laps, that's what a lapdog really is. She certainly is a loyal dog. In the street protests of the 70s and 80s, tuta was one of the most derisive words used. I remember the shouts and chants of tuta ni Marcos, referring to the soldiers, policemen, and high government officials defending martial law. But puppies are among the most lovable creatures on this earth. Why not make kabang part of our lingo? Let's do a kabang. Let's do something good and noble for others. And for once, forget that the world revolves solely around us. This is Marites Vitug for Vitug Vlogs.